Hello everybody, this is Ty Warner with Tyke Engineering Gleason. Um, I want to show you a little trick in Kiss Soft. Here you can see I have um, I have a ring gear and a planet. Right here you can see it on the on the right side of the screen. Um, but what's interesting here is this this planet gear, I've got some modifications on it. And uh, what I want to do is I want to create this in SolidWorks. Now, Kissoff can't actually create the crown in SolidWorks. There is an interface, and I can create straight gears, and I can do any kind of profile adjustments and that sort of thing, and it works really well that way. Um, but what I want to do is I want to create that crown as well. So maybe I want to, you know, uh, maybe I want to mold this, or maybe I want to have a, a five-axis CNC make me one part, and I don't want to buy tools or something like that. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Module Specific Settings, and I'm going to go to my Generation of 3D, and I'm going to change this from a volume model to an elongated skin model. This is for cam generation, okay? So I can define, like, the the length that I want that spline to be a little bit longer, that, that linear spline interpolation. So it's actually a surface I'm creating. Now when I go to my graphics and I go to geometry and I want to look at my first gear, it's going to say I need to run this quick. Um, I'm just going to turn this off so it goes quick. I'm going to run this calculation. Now you see what I have here in my 3D view. I can rotate this around. I have this cut. You see it's kind of, it's kind of funky right here, but if I go to my module specific settings again and I go to my generation uh, I can change this from from linear spline to linear uh, I can change this from two to four whatever I want this is the height and this is the width okay I'm going to save this right here the skin I'm going to do a save as and I'm going to go to my documents I'm going to put it in my training docs and I'm going to put it right here I'm going to call it my nine tooth skin crowning because I'm going to use this to actually cut my my gear okay so I've done that and now I have this blank so I have this blank that I'm going to use this crowning to actually cut the gear in SolidWorks uh, I'm sure you can probably do this in in Creo or, or Unix or NX inventor these other programs but so what I've done is I created the blank that I want okay and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this skin in. And it's simple in SolidWorks. I can just go insert. If I don't want to show this, I can simply go to insert uh, part. All right. And I need to browse for this. Oh, not there. Where is this going to be? Kiss Soft. Oops, documents. And uh, probably what I have to do first, actually, is I'm going to open that skin up. So let's do a open. Get that out of here. And I'm going to search for that because that's a step file that I created. All right. So with the step file, I need to, what I need to do is I need to find that step file quick. I go to my documents. I know I put it in my training docs. And I've got this STP, that skin crowning STP, and I open that. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to open it up as, as a metric part. Okay. So here's my cut, right? That's what my, my cut looks like. It's got crowning. It's longer. Incidentally, the center of this tooth is exactly the center here. If I turn my planes on, you can see it. It's going to be right in the center here. This is the center of the of the shaft that I created. This is this would be the center, uh, the center line of the gear and the face width this way. See that? So like that. All right. Now I'm going to save this. Uh, save as. I'm going to put it in that training docs. I'm just going to keep the same name. And now in, in SolidWorks, or SolidWorks here, okay, um, I just simply go to insert part right here. 
And see how I, it already grabs that because I got it open? And now I can set this in here. You probably want to make sure that you want to turn this locate part with move copy feature. All right. And then you click that somewhere in here. I'm going to change it to the base part, which is still metric. Now what I can do is I can turn on my, my planes. All right. Now I know that my top plane should match my top plane here. I know that my... Um, so I need to add. I'm going to make sure I can see all my planes here. <clears throat> and depending on how you set this up, uh, you might have a, a plane here. So here's a front plane. Uh, that plane is going to be... I'm going to turn my planes on here. Right here. Okay, now I've turned it. And then the next thing I need to do is I need to do my my right plane right here and my right plane see is that the one I want and oh that right plane was the right one I need to move that oh whoops I see what the deal is clear so I want my I just need to I just need to line this up on center now. That's really all I have to do. So if I go here to my my right plane and I need to grab this center line there. And I'm done. So I've located this part. Now in SolidWorks you can see that I'm right to the edge of this and I extended it this way, but it didn't really pump it out this way. So what I have to do is I have to do a little surface extend. I go to my surfaces Okay, I grab my extend surface and I grab this face. I'm not going to extend it eight millimeters. That's going to be way too much. I'm going to extend it like 0 0.5 or something. And I'm going to grab this face right here and I'm going to extend that one as well. And now you can see I've extended this cut. I hit save and <clears throat> now I have the exact tooth form that I want in my surface. I can turn those uh, planes and stuff off, but I have the exact tooth form that I want in my surface, okay? And it's a simple thing in surfacing now. I can just do cut with surface right here. I'm going to select this surface, and I'm going to make sure that I'm cutting this way, so I'm leaving this material. So I probably want to do that. What does that do for me? Did I do it the right way? Yep. So I remove this material on the inside. I don't want to see this surface anymore, so I just um, I can hide that. But now I have a tooth cut. So this is my cutter that comes through, and it creates this cut. And now, uh, in this case, I have nine teeth. I simply go to my features in SolidWorks. I grab circular pattern. I'm going to grab an axis right here. And I select the feature I want to pattern, this one. And I want 9, so I just turn that to 9. And now I, I, hit, I select OK. And now I have my cut tooth. All right? This is how you would. And this tooth, in, this is an accurate within a micron or half a micron, depending on how you set your tooth form stuff up. But now you have a crown or a helix angle adjustment or whatever you've done in the, uh, the face width work. You can have cuts on this side I mean there's you know whatever you decided to do and and kiss off but that's how you would actually create a skin cut and a skin cut model in in uh, kiss soft and then use that to cut your your gear in in SolidWorks so if this if this cutter was actually a little deeper here I, I would actually catch and pick up a little bit of groove on this um, on that shaft um, there's other ways to do it as well, but this was a simple way. I thought I'd just, um, I've done this quite a few times on some gears that I've been working on recently, and I thought it was uh, worthwhile to show that little bit of <clears throat> of a, kind of a, a neat trick to to cut your gears if you got to make things in 3D, okay? And this gear now, you could run Trans 3D or Romax or whatever it is you're running for your FE solver uh, as a final as a final check. Um, to do your to do your design so
I'm uh, Ty Warner with Tyka Engineering in Gleason. Um, if you have KISSOFF requests or needs, you can, uh, of course, contact Gleason. You can go online and request a test license. And, of course, uh, you know, we'll, we'll provide that and, and um, you can evaluate the software. Thanks for watching.